Good morning, everybody. I'm Daisho, and I'm here with another gameplay commentary on Modern Warfare 2. This time, I'm playing Free for All on Invasion. I haven't played a Free for All for a while, so I thought I'd give it a try. I am using the L86 LSW light machine gun with a grip, and I have Sleight of Hand Pro, Stopping Power, and Scrambler. This is pretty much the first time I've actually tried to use Scrambler, and it doesn't really help me, I don't think. Can't really tell the effects. It's kind of hard. But basic. Oh yeah, I also have a smoke grenade and a frag because that's the equipment that the custom class started with, and I just forgot to change it. So yeah, I have the spaz with red dot sight as my secondary. Secondary, not my first dairy. Second. Okay, that was dumb. Anyway, um, I just started a new prestige, and this prestige I was planning on only sniping, and that lasted until I was about level four. Um, actually, I think I got to level 6 before I got too bored, and, yeah, I'm really bad at sniping. <laughs> I wanted to, uh, get a lot better, but that did not work out because, uh, I was too bad to actually even bear trying to do that. <laughs> so, anyway, the pretty much, as you've seen by the title, the moral of this video is camping works, I guess I would say, because um, in this video, I think I go 14 and 8, or 14 and 9, and then the rest of the video I go 16 and 1, and that's because I started camping, and that's, I mean, it's really because I just got my Harrier Strike and my Pavlo, and because my kill streak setup is UAV, get Harrier Strike, Pavlo, that's um, one of the best for free for all because you could put on Predator Missile, but that'll only get you one kill. But UAV will not only keep you alive, but it also will get you some more kills. I should have used my UAV right here, and maybe I could have... I mean, this is also kind of camping, I guess, but um, it's not as... It's not as good of a spot as I use later, I guess I would say. So if I had used my UAV, I would have seen that guy up there, and he would not have been able to go all ninja on me and jump knife me in the back. But anyway, um, there's that guy with the tar and heart, red dot sight and heartbeat sensor. I mean, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Not going to comment on that. So I use my UAV, and UAVs are really helpful when you're playing free-for-all because it shows you where everybody on the map is, and, I mean, um, unless somebody's using cold-blooded, but most people don't use cold-blooded on... Um, most people don't use cold blooded on free for all because then you can easy, pretty easily get outshot by um everyone. So getting outshot sucks because that I mean that's like it's in in a not in a, in a non objective based a killing based game. The only thing that really matters is getting outshot, and getting outshot is what will happen if you don't have stopping power and you're coming up against somebody who does. Unless, of course, you're using one of those guns that it doesn't really matter if you're using stopping power or not. Like the UMP, supposedly, I heard recently that uh, you get one more, uh, one more, one bullet less to kill at close, of ra close range, but um, I've heard so many different things that I don't even believe anyone about the UMP. So this is probably the biggest failure you'll ever see. Shoot that guy three times, four times, and he manages to kill me. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna block that out in my memory. Maybe I should just fast forward that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, so, now I am possibly camping in the worst spot of this map. As I mentioned in one of my other videos, there's four ways in. And that guy takes one of them, and he just runs and knifes me in the stomach back thing. Because I knew, he, I heard he was coming, and pulled out my Spaz 12, but he killed me before I could. And now I just run, I'm not going for a revenge kill, I'm just running. And I really, I just did not expect the same guy to be camping there lying on the floor. He seemed like one of those marathon lightweight kids who's gonna be sprinting all around the court, field, uh, map that one sprinting around the map and um yeah I was really surprised when he was lying down on the floor with the gimbal rangers so that's uh something really important when I just did I shot that guy got a hit marker on him but did not chase him because a you never want to run into that building because there's usually somebody camping in there or 
I probably would have gotten shot by that guy with the tar and the heartbeat sensor up there. And B, I was firing an unsuppressed weapon, and you never want to keep doing that for a while because um, somebody will find you and kill you. So there I get shot a little bit, and I try to flank him, but I see that he runs over there and dies. Um, so I shoot a couple of shots at that guy, and this is something really important. So I'm not sure where he is. He could have just ran away, but he's probably just standing right there waiting for me to pop out. So I jump and start firing before I get around the corner, and then it's just really awkward because there's nobody there. Like, if there's somebody just watching that scene, then they'd be like, what the fuck just happened? Uh, why did that guy do that? Um, so there, um, I pulled that old move that I told you be about a couple of videos ago. Um, you you both know your each other's there so obviously nobody's gonna pop out that would just be idiotic so here's the part where I start camping by the way so that would just be idiotic to pop out um, because you're just gonna die uh, but there it worked out real well for me because he was throwing a grenade it, he could have been reloading or doing a lot of other things but um, this time in this case he was throwing a grenade and I was able to take him out for it. Luckily, he didn't stick me, but whatever. I died a second later. Anyway, so now I have four kill streak, and I only need three more for my Harriers, which will probably take me to my Pavlo. So, um, this guy I'm not too worried about because I can barely see him, and I know he's behind this pole. So, um, I'm not worried about him at all, but I just wanted the kill. So, when you're standing up here, not only do you have these sandbags protecting you, but I don't know if anybody's using Ninja Pro in this um, in this uh, lobby, so I can hear them climbing up the ladders, and I have these sandbags to protect me also. Plus, uh, for some reason, nobody knows I'm here, and whenever I fire, if they're near me, then they won't see because I've got Scrambler on, I guess. But uh, hopefully, I'm you know, firing my unsuppressed weapon uh, as much as I can because I want to get my... I want people to come near me because this strategy is pretty much reliant on people being near me so that I can kill them. So now I'm running pretty low on ammo, and I just need one more kill to get my pave low. So I was thinking of just ducking down and waiting for uh, my uh, Harriers to shoot someone down, and finally they do. And right now, I'm like, eh, whatever, I'll just blow myself up, why not? I usually would blow myself up to get my kill streaks again, but now that I think about it, uh, there wasn't really that much time to get the kill streaks. There's only like, uh, wow, I can't do math, seven, eight kills left. Um, yeah, so there were seven kills left. Sorry. Um, I guess I always rag on people for not being able to do math, but when you think, when you're making these videos and you're talking constantly, it's kind of hard to think about it. So, uh, whatever. Uh, I get the 15 bullet penetration kills, and this is pretty early in the prestige. I played for like a couple hours on my prestige. So there, um, I was throwing a grenade, and I kind of just hoped that it killed that guy. But if not, then I'm not really worrying about that guy, because he has to get a long way to get up to me. You know, I start worrying about him, and I hide behind this little couch, but um, now, I, by now I just assume that he went a different way, or a different route. So I keep thinking that that fiery burning guy has a guy in it, but anyway, uh, that's the game winning kill, 30 and 10, kind of 30 and 9, if you don't include my blow myself up, 16 and 1 or 16 and 0 after I started camping. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye.